And welcome back everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for part five of five. Last part here for our 12 hour sub battle stream. We got about two hours left or so for this video here. So what I'm doing is all stream. I'm playing against subscribers. This has been, this is always a fun stream. Um, I play different decks every single round. Chat brings their awesome decks as well. And so to determine what deck I'm playing each round, I spin this wheel. And so, all right, we're going to be playing the Ripper up next here. So let's spin this wheel. Uh, if you haven't checked out like the other parts, you know, describe it better in part one. Uh, it's part five now. We've been playing for about 10 hours, so I'm not describing it as well. But here we go. Our next deck that I'm going to be playing is Demir Control. Got a lot of blue-black decks left. Uh, whoops. Just move this over here. Oh, no. Ugh. I accidentally reset the wheel with something I did there somehow. Okay. Best of three. Here we go. I didn't do I didn't do the reset of arena between the video recordings here. Uh I gotta do that too, as you as you can tell, like arena's just really laggy. Alright, well the beginning of this video, things have not gone too well. <laughs> Sorry about that. Especially, you know, for people watching on YouTube. Click click the fast forward thirty seconds button. We'll get to the match here. I gotta reset arena. Sorry about that. Okay. All right, Ripper. Let's go find Demir Control. Got to show the um, deck list. This is our deck. Ooh, it is very, very controlly. Very slow. Here we go. Best of three. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, 12 stream. Yeah, stream 12 hours. Start making a couple mistakes. But here we go. We got a couple hours left. Mulligan. I'm gonna get rid of Cry of the Carnarium. I mean, Liliana is like the easiest thing to get rid of here. But yeah, I didn't think somebody named the Ripper would bring an aggro deck. So good call by me. Rewarded. Oh no, it's Flash. Oh no. Not rewarded. We're dead. Blue white flash. I just put them both in the graveyard. Start transforming. Okay, try to start working on Ascanto. Yeah, I, I really, yeah, I hope Ripper's playing Wrath Compassion. That would be awesome. Yeah, I've never seen a blue white flash deck either. I just like assume this, this would get countered. Guess I'm still supposed to keep it. Ah, it is Bant. Bant Flash. Yeah. 
playing so many cutthroats. They're so scary. right now so yeah like I think they have like a good amount of counter spells but I was hoping they were going to be countering the contempts on their turn so that I could untap and resolve enter the God Eternals. Uh, this doesn't actually kill that thing. Legion's end. Exile. Okay, so seal away, seal away, scatter. So those are three dead cards. But then there's a wolf. And of course, inside just draws a bunch of cards, but wolf's scary. I mean, I guess I should have just act I should not have played that land right there because we could have find like a four mana spell. <laughs> okay. And meditate and prepare. Being Hawkeye all the time. I have just the trick for this. Oh, man. Poor opponent. Wow. What a four cards to mill. We milled over Ambusher, Ambusher, Teferi, Frilled Mystic. Well, we found all the good cards. We found them. I guess I sh should have taken the seal away the first time. Our opponent was pretty unlucky this game. Drawing so many lands and dead cards. And yeah, we're just gonna work towards Lily on ultimate. Like we don't even really even even need to attack with the four four to get rid of you know that would just you know just eat the enchantment. All right, so grasp, duress, negate. What else we got? Nothing else. Don't think I want drawn from dreams. Um, don't want these cry of the carnariums. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And yeah, now we slide in a lot of creatures. I'll never expect it. Um, all right, let's give this a try. Need to come say hi and get some some pets, Hawkeye. Alright, got us Kanta in play. Help us hit our land drops. Gross. Scatter and Binding. No! Oh, that's such a good card. Let's. We need to move quickly. So I need to kill this Frilled Mystic, but then also this Teferi is killing me. I'm drawing so many cards. This Narset kind of stops that thing from drawing cards. Thoughtfulness before action. All right, so dispersal gets rid of, or can like bounce the Ixalan's binding for a minute. Because I'm assuming they're going to binding Narset, then draw a card. Oh, oh, oh. Well, dang! I wish I would have taken like the gate. You need to take a time out. That didn't go according to plan. Not really sure why. I didn't just. Why well, well, I played in that order? Why well, didn't just discovery first? Oh right, because I was going to. I was thinking about dispersing. That's why. Mind and body hone your prowess. Man, 
man. Been a, f a real bad flood out here for Ripper. Mind. Yeah. I guess I don't get to negate right now. Because it's a fairy. I know I could contempt to fairy, but This might be a bad idea. I don't get to actually cast into the God Eternals instant speed again because of Teferi. Now what? Yeah, I fed Hawkeye. He, yeah, he got his lunch. And I'll, he'll get dinner right at, whenever I get done streaming here, so in two hours. Yeah, Ripper just really flooded out. Mana base looks a little rough. Like double basic planes in the Frilled Mystic deck. Don't want them to kill Narset. Or, you know, me. Yeah, I couldn't... Yeah, I couldn't cast the Enter the God Eternals because of Teferi. That's why I didn't reveal it, because three mana Teferi. All right, GG's Ripper. Sorry about all those lands. Kind of games one and three. I just drew a bunch of lands. That happens. But GG's. Okay, so who's the next subscriber that would like to battle? The Flood Strikes. All right, make sure... Wait for the thing to pop up. There, it started. All right. So type it again, Rex. And yeah, everybody else, type battle into the chat. There we go. Just like the other people are. If you're a subscriber, you want to be up next. Okay, well, I can't... So I can't stop anything with the wheel. <laughs> we got all 44 decks on here again. Um... Yeah, we'll remove the choice. So, I guess for some reason it like refreshed. So, uh, if we hit a deck, if we spin and we hit a deck that we've already played, we'll, it's just we'll just respin. Um, so we may be doing a lot of spinning here. Um, I guess I can make it a let's make it like a just a five second spin instead of a ten second spin. Okay, all right, cool. So then got in there. Looks like everybody's in here. Let's see who's up. Disposable hero. No, Johnny's chance is not ruined. We'll be doing respins. So we're just doing quick five second spins. And I already played Abundance Ramp. So let's respin. We already played Orzhov Angels. Alright, there's my... Thanks for the gamer tag. There's mine. Grixis Pirates. This is new. Alright, Grixis Pirates. Awesome. 
I'm glad we get to play Grace's Pirates again. This is a fun deck. This was from our very first Throwback Thursday stream. Here's our deck. We're Admiral Beckett Brass. <laughs> yeah, 10 minutes later. This is a pretty sweet little deck. Here we go. Challenge match, best of three. Yeah, Admiral Beckett Brass coming out of retirement. <laughs> she does look like she's going out of retirement. Ugh. No. Okay. We got some pirates here. We'll get rid of this swamp. Pirates! You're watching this one, Moxie? Yeah. This one was a lot of fun. So yeah, we have one sided pirate clasm. No, our captain. The captain's going down with the ship. Ugh, just always Risen Reef. <laughs> Ooh, this is probably four color. So I probably should just be casting the Pirate Clasm just to kill Risen Reef. Wow. But I wanted to get Ruin Raider in. That is rough. Lose four life. Ooh, that was rough. Hmm. All right, so if they have another removal spell, we're dead. I could wait and try to draw another land and then have the Storm Tamer protect Hostage Taker. But I'm just going for it. If we had another land, then, then yeah, maybe I would have waited. But we don't have another land, so I'm going for it. Okay, so not dead. Not dead. We're now elemental pirates. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this. Admiral Becca Brass, shortly before being hit by Brass's Contempt. Nice. We got Cavalier of Flames. Cool. Ugh. 
It seems like elementals are a little better than pirates. Can't really let them keep Omnath because then they just play land. And put counters on their stuff. What's my plan? I don't know what my plan's supposed to be here, so I'm just gonna ship it. I'm just gonna run it back. Alright, we'll figure out our plan. Have a disposable hero mold of four. That's our plan. It's not, not a great plan, but that's our plan. Yeah, I think Kamigawa had Bushido. That set was before my time. We are hitting kind of hard. I mean, they just had turn two Awakener, which is like their turn two play, and they're at 13 already. What's up, Justice? Thanks for resubbing. Five, six, seven. Thanks for the resub there, Justice. Definitely gotta get those hype boats in the chat. Love it. We get some big pirates. All right, so Leafkin plus Omnath. play these lookout dispersals. I 
All right, yeah, we had a good showing there. I mean, Disposal Hero also mulled to four, and we were on the play with, like, a, a real good hand. <laughs> yeah, they were on a four-card hand. Well, let's hopefully draw... Hostage Shaker's gonna die, right? We gotta draw just aggro stuff. We gotta draw our, our small creatures. We have like 12 2 drops. We need to draw one here. And 8 1 drops. We have like 20 cards, and now we just draw back to back lands this game. We had. You know, definitely had to risk you one. But, well, no Risen Reef. A good start. <laughs> Look, all the little the little pirates in the background. They're all swinging. Yeah, brass could have been a four four. Yeah, I can see that. I can see Brass being a 4-4. We got... To get see Admiral Beckett Brass's animation before it's all said and done. Please, no removal. Please, no removal. Please no removal. <laughs> Please no removal. These sneaky pirates. All right, no removal. Good sign. No removal. So if I have your rock block Cavalier of Thorns. If I your rock block my opponent, they can get I don't know, something kind of cool back. Hmm. 
We get like Omnath. Just, I don't really want to kill the Cavalier. This is kind of rough. If I take it, we die to Omnath though. Get something cool with this. Oh, it has to be elementals. So the answer is no, I cannot get anything cool with that. <laughs> Please run. A chase stokes the forge. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. So yeah, they kill Angrath, then we deal six to them, put them down to five. I've weathered tougher storms than you. Ugh. That was the worst card for me to see with not with using my pirate classum. We're so close. Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, so much for us being close. Wow. Yeah, Risen Reef hits the land and then Scourger. We had a couple of really good hostage takers, but... We can't draw nine, nine lands in this deck. And yeah, Risen Reef just draws all the cards. But yeah, it's really about our, our deck can't draw nine lands. We can't really do that. We kept on drawing lands. Oh, yeah, I shouldn't say we. I did. Yeah, chat, chat did great. <laughs> All right, team chat, picking up that win there. GG's. All right. Hey, hero. Yeah, good games there. You're on Team Hawkeye. There you go. All right, so who's going to be the next person to play? Type battle into the chat. If you want to be the next person to play. For subscribers only, sorry, should didn't say that before. If you want to be the next subscriber to battle. Got about an hour and a half. I'm starting to wear down though. Happens. All right, let's let's just kind of go quickly here. Oh no, Varchild, you misspelled battle. I didn't notice that. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, Varchild. All right, Parappa, you're up. Send me that gamer tag. Let's spin. We may have to do some respinning. All right, so we already played Sultai Treachery. All right, this reset after last time. Teamer Extinction. All right, Teamer Extinction. Matthew's favorite deck. Thanks, Wylan. Let's get to Teamer Extinction. I don't think Matthew's here anymore, though. We'll probably have to watch this one later. So, yeah, this is, I mean, this is just elementals. Star of Extinction elementals. Of course, a big part of this deck is the opponents being surprised by the Star of Extinction. Perhaps is not going to be surprised, but that's all good. Yeah, some of the, the Sultai, I've played a few different Sultai decks that have Cavalier Knight and Mirror Image in them. All right, so, so this video, I should write down my deck so I, I don't forget it this time. Um, we're on Teamer Extinction right now. Our first video we just played was Grixis Pirates. Our first deck in this video. Grixis Pirates. Okay, here we go. Keep. This is like the, maybe, I think like the second, maybe third time, but probably like second time this stream that like whatever deck we lost two, then we get like spin the wheel, and it's like that deck that we then play like immediately. That's kind of cool. It's like you lose to the deck, you got to play it. All right, so there's bag of holding. Holding the bag. So mono red discard so far. Chain Whirler? No. All right, perfect. Yeah, thanks, Chris. Yeah, it'll probably be tomorrow, honestly, because, you know, I of course, I don't I don't look at the uh, Discord while I'm streaming, of course, but then it's been a long 12-hour day. Uh, I, I'll have to, you know, get food and take care of the pets and everything like that and then crash, and so I don't think I'll be checking checking it tonight. But I'll try try to take a look at it tomorrow. Flame of Kel, discard the hand. Well, okay, so yeah, like the you aren't half bad. The bag can hold him. Um, I guess I should have put the counter on the, the Omnath. Uh, 
Oh, I see what happened there. Yeah, so that, that was just an accident. Um, thinking, thought about like the second or the third chapter that I was gonna do, you know, four damage to each thing. Forgot that it was, had to wait a turn for that chapter. That is cool, the Lava Coil Exiles Cavalier of Thorns, though. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, that's too bad. Should have the Flame Sweep here. These would die. That's too bad. Are they your memories? Or mine? That was a bad mill on my part. So mono red discard. Bag of Holding plus Heartwarming Redemption isn't bad. Those want to do Bag of Holding deck. All right, so it doesn't look, really look like we need Star of Extinction. So I'm going to be taking those out, getting a couple of Chandras in here. And then a negate. Just that one negate, just to get him. Um, I, yeah, I haven't done a rotation proof Grixis. I'm gonna write that down for Monday. Yeah, Cinder Vines could be okay destroying Bag of Holding, but honestly, they're going through all this work to like make Bag of Holdings work. I don't want to ruin that with the Cinder Vines. That's not cool. Let them do their Bag of Holding stuff. We need to keep on playing blue sources for Cavalier Gales. Chat did win once. <clears throat> yeah, so chat has won one of these one time. So never say never. Chat got me once. Oh, okay, that part for Cinder Vines just for the damage. Yeah, I could see that. Oh, shocked the land where else before. Don't let the, anybody untap with. Land where elves and use that mana. All right, so putting like this extra land that I don't want back on top, where I can go like Jace, tick up, get rid of it. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Cavalier Flames. That makes a lot of sense. Cavalier Flames doesn't really do damage, though. They don't have lands in their graveyard. I 
love. Like the trigger doesn't. It's always an answer. That card's cool. Yeah, this is. Yep, we're playing Star of Extinction. Star. We're doing. Yeah, we're playing Team or Extinction right now. Uh, yeah, give me these. Um, it doesn't really matter. I guess this order. No, this order. Because Jace dies. Ooh, Jace doesn't die. Ow. Alright, well, give me that Cavalier then. Just got to mill over two cards. I hope not lands. I hope spells. <clears throat> it was spells. One, one was a fry, even. You were quite the adversary. Jaya. Jaya's cool. Yeah, I did sideboard out the Star of Extinctions. Hey, Kurtash. You're coming in right on time. Thanks for the pick me up. Ah, no one likes a bully. We got a little bit more than an hour. to go. Flame of Keld. Could definitely kill me. Could definitely get 10 points of burn. How you play the hand I guess I could cast Hydrocrasis, though. I'll make that a little harder. Um, I'll wait till next turn. Right now, Krasis. Krasis is just for five. Unless I shock in, and then Krasis would be for six. I'm blocking. Block. Scry away these lands. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll keep those. Don't test me. So I did want to draw that Risen Reef. Let's try this. All right, all their spells do two extra damage. All their red sources. They can spend four mana and get all these things back. Get them like a coil.
not too much to do this turn. What is this? Times 21? Wait, do they get 21 of these triggers? Oh, like the team chat was kind of in the way. I was going to move it. But that thing, it had like the flame of Keld emblem and then it said times 21. That's weird. More lands. I just want to hit lands here. That's not a land. There's land. There's a land. It's a matter of give and take. Hmm. <clears throat> Keeping this back because of Cavalier of Flame. I'm pretty close to killing my opponent. Just drawing all my cards. Pretty close. That's rude. All right, so they got 10 mana. Basically, just have to survive this turn. I could go like just like the the single pile up and just play a, a super big crisis. Uh, three, six, ten. Go like crisis for like ten. Or I can go like reef plus omnath. That's seven. So then, then like Krasis for four. Also, like Reef, Reef, Omnath, Krasis for four. Do Krasis for ten. Oh, that's probably smart. I kind of forgot about my negate. Could have gone crisis for eight and crisis for eight and negate. See, look at this. It says times twenty six. Yeah, see, it says times twenty six. All right, so I guess their deck does that. I guess that's a combo. We didn't see that Glinthorn Buccaneer at all. Like, that was just like a hidden card. But yeah, I guess I need to negate that Flame of Keld there. <laughs> you like how Wyland thinks? Yeah. Wyland's doing it. Yeah, I don't want to send her vines. <laughs> yeah, Team Chat's brought a lot of a lot of cool spicy decks today all right lesson learned keep your mana for negate
Game three. Take me out. Yeah, uh, yeah. Wyland played the Glinthorn Buccaneer. I think the name of it is something that, like, whenever you discard a card, it deals one damage to the opponent. And then played Flamekel that says discard your hand, and so they discarded a ton of cards. And all those cards dealt one damage to me, but they also had the third chapter of Flame of Keld going. So each one actually dealt three damage to me. So they discarded a ton of cards, they all dealt three damage to me, and I died. Hmm. This is looking sketchy for both of us. Basically, just gonna be discard countering anything, but yeah, countering a tormenting voice is a, a really good card to counter. <laughs> this is just mono red scape shift if you think about it. I guess you could get there. Yeah, Glint Horn Buccaneer. The card that killed us last time. I make these creatures so big. So hard for red to kill Cavalier of Thorns. So hard. I know who I am, and no one is telling me what to do. I've got a burning desire to finish you. We need Star of Extinction. One mana short. All right, got that bag out there. All right. Well, that was a really cool game too. But just just how much the elementals are pushed, and it got me there. Oh, whoops, wrong emo. I meant the GGs. Anyway, GGs, a pretty sweet little deck there. Yeah, I know. I was the, I was the bad guy there. But yeah, GGs there, Parappa. All right, see who's up next. We have time for, you know, who knows, maybe like three more or so. Type the word battle into the chat if you want to be next, if you're a subscriber, just like Varchild and QQ just did. 
Yeah, it did pretty good. Yeah, it did. It did. It did pretty good. Got to do some cool stuff there with the bag. We got anybody else? Any more subscribers that want to battle? There we go. So I'm not waiting along for a long time here between rounds here at the end of the night. Yeah, it's tough with the yeah, so I guess I mean you have one lander tormenting voice on the draw. Yeah, I can understand I wanted to go to five. Alright, let's see who do we got? <laughs> Sorry, Kingpin. Just for subscribers. Yeah, we could do that. All right, QQ. Yeah, I mean we could do. Yeah, if you have a best of one deck and you want to just do, you want to just play best of one, you know, three times basically. I can. You can just tell me just not to sideboard, and I just won't sideboard, kind of thing. You have that. Ah, oh, sorry, Don's. You're a little late. You're back in here though, Don's. Must be. So it must be early in the morning now, right, Don's? Don's Dodger. Because I think, if I remember correctly, you went to bed because it was super late. A lot earlier in the stream. Alright, uh, let's see what deck we're playing. Again, we may need to respin because this got reset. Um, yep, we already played Azoria Skies. Gruel midrange. We did not play a Gruel midrange. Yeah, you just woke up. <laughs> Nice, because, yeah, I remember earlier you are like, eh, it's 3 a.m. here, going to bed. And it's 9 a.m. now? Okay, so that was six hours ago. Okay, let's see. What are we playing? Gruel midrange. Where's a gruel midrange? Is there a gruel midrange up in here? Somewhere? Here we go. <laughs> Battling while sleepwalking. All right, so yeah, we're just like, you know, just regular Gruul stuff. Pretty basic Gruul midrange deck here. No frills. All fight. All right, here we go. Ooh, I do not know any LGSs in the Vegas area. Ugh. Anybody? Anybody here? Oh, QQ, sorry. The gamer tag. Okay, you got it. All right, you're good. Yeah, Kingpin, if you want. Yeah, you can be up next. The well, the prize is just is just playing against me. We're seeing who who wants to play against me. So like that's so that that's what we're doing. It's sub battle day. So yeah, we're doing one 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 v one challenges. All right, what's QQ got? Ooh, turn one duress. Down goes a planeswalker. Nissa, fair enough. Turn two duress. Down goes Domri. Well, I'm sure there are LGSs in, um, in Vegas. I I just don't know them myself. Oh, I am gonna love tearing this place to the ground. I'd get out of the way if I were you. Let's get the Vivian in play. I did not check my sideboard of like what I could minus five for. Get out of the way if I were you.
And Kiku got, you know, mulligan and got stuck on lands. Yeah, that druid was really big. So we saw swamp, 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 duress, duress. Sounds like Daredevil and Veil of Summer to me. And sounds like... We'll just cut these ambushes. Maybe they're great, maybe they're not, who knows. I get rid of a Hellkite against the black deck with like cast downs that kill Hellkite. We still got an extra one. Let's get rid of one. Divest? No. Turn one, discard your land war elf. That's so good. Hey, Chris. Thank you so much for the sub there. I appreciate it. Um, I guess I just wait on Growth Chamber Guardian against a deck that seems to be only removal. Should probably wait so we can... Well, it seems to be only discard, I guess, technically. We haven't seen any removal, just all discard. Mono black, discard. Divest is pretty cool. It's an underrated card. Under. Ground? No. Underrated. That's what it is. Hmm. We haven't really seen Planeswalker removal, so I'm just going to get Vivian in play and just like hope to, to draw creatures. And pump those up. I think I have like a, I have a shifting ceratops in this sideboard, and I just put the hellkite in there also. That card's broken. Together we will prevail. Behold nature's true power. Oh gosh, yeah, if we had Nullhide Ferox, man, that would not be that would not be fair. The land shall conquer you. Cool. Yeah, use the cast down on that. That's one more arrow knocked. Yeah, there you go, love. Harness the elements. Let's see if QQ can kill all my lands. enough to survive ritual of soot 
Legion's End. All right, Ritual of Soot. Very good. The land fights for us. We can give Hellkite haste and put counters on it. So then we can still activate Hellkite next turn. Because they'll have counters. My my, how you've grown. Dang needed. Another like cast down. A couple more removal spells. Almost got there. Almost killed all my lands. GG's there, QQ. <laughs> no, that was no, I mean this is just messed up. We yeah, we didn't see any. GG's. I liked all those discard spells though. Alright, who is going to be up next? Type battle into the chat. If you're a subscriber, you want to be up next. Do I have time for like two, maybe three more? So love if you want to get in there. Type battle. There we go. Alright. I think that's everybody. Oh, Timmy was just a little slow. I'm sorry. I was the quick trigger here. Sorry, Timmy. All right, love. Send me that gamer tag. There's mine. I have a quick trigger here towards the end of the night. Try to get these matches started quickly. Getting people in. All right, let's spin this wheel. If we hit on something we already played, we'll respin. We have not played Golgari Stompy though, so that's a new one. We've got another Vivian deck. All right, send me that gamer tag, love. Where's Golgari Stompy? There it is. No. Where'd it go? All right, so here's our deck. We got Knight of the Ebon Legion, Rotting Regisaur, Vivian Arcbow Ranger. Good old aggro. We got super big creatures with Knight and Red and Reggie, and we give them Trample with Arcbow Ranger. That's that's our game plan. Hey, Grumpy. Glad you're enjoying the stream, though. So yeah, you play Legacy and occasionally Vintage. Awesome. What do you think? Are you happy about Fast Bond being unrestricted in Vintage? Excited about Fast Bond? Yeah, just... Oh, uh, I think there's there's probably not a space here. You put put a space in there. There shouldn't be a space. There we go. That should work now. No, I don't think Watsi will ever implement EDH on Arena. I think the closest you're going to get is Brawl. Because they're just not going to, um, they're not going to uh, <clears throat> be able to put in all the cards that are illegal in EDH. So yeah, you'll get Brawl on Arena. So love, does this all look right? Is it capital L? Like your name has capital L. Is this supposed to be a capital L?
I'm guessing this is supposed to be a capital L. Okay. Alright, so it's capital L and it's capital M. Okay, let's try this. Oh, but then the I is not capitalized. Uncapitalized I. Okay, let's try this. Okay, now choose best of three. Choose best of <laughs> Love, you got to choose best of three. There, yeah, there'll st still be at least one more, Chris. Yeah, it's case sensitive. All right, we got there. Oh, that's right. I was going to be writing down our decks. What deck did I play after Teamer Extinction? Probably the deck I just played last. I honestly don't remember what deck I just played. Oh, it was Gruel. Okay, never mind. It took me a little while. Rule mid range. Okay. And now, Golgari, Stompy. All right. Looks like we got some vampires. Mono white. All oh, right, this is a Johnny Life Gain deck. Don't really want to discard a Regisaur, but I guess I'm going to have to anyway. A notification system to notify the challenges and you have to accept kind of the problem with that is that people can just challenge you a bunch oh, I definitely need to get this in play you know so if you think about it from like heart beats in unison with the wild the perspective of somebody who like myself who streams a lot you know like just this people could just you know like watch. see the gamer tag and just like send you challenges then you just have like the notifications keep popping up and that would be annoying All right, there's the Pride Mage. A lot of life gain. I have a large kitty. Large Kit Kat. Yeah, I mean, there, there should just be a friends list. I kind of did forget about Vivian doing the whole removal spell thing. Oh, no, no, no! Misclick. 
Uh, definite misclick. I want to do minus three, not minus five. Arkbo, bring me an ally. Uh. I was like, oh yeah, Vivian is just removal. I don't have to worry about this cat. I'm just going to minus three and kill it. And then, nope. Because now I have to discard both of these cards because they're Rotting Registrar. Well, that's good. That attack was really good for me. I love that. That's a great trade. Now I don't have to discard both these cards. Now we can keep Vivian. I love everything from deer to dinosaurs. With my aim and their claws. Mr. Chompers. I'll taste your neck. You'll taste my blade. They gotta kill Vivian, otherwise they're dead. I demand servitude. Looks like they're not killing Vivian. <laughs> Stomping time. Guess it doesn't kill them because Aerialist has is a five six. They got a block with Aerialist. Yeah, the minus three animation for Vivian's really good. That chomp. Just build your own Galta. Add a whole lot less mana. Yeah, give it trample and everything. Worse. Now it's Galta. My my, how you've grown. Rotting Galta. Okay. Match number two, game number two. Plague Mare looked to be pretty decent. Honestly, a lot of these cards look to be pretty decent. I don't really need Vivian, those Vivians. Get some Legion's Ends. Grab an extra Choop instead of a Raptor. I'm just going to leave Plague Mare and Masker Girl over there. I'm just going to do this. Yeah, 3 mana 7 6 is so good. I need more than one land. Thank you. It does have trample. That's what that's what Vivian does. It gives it gives that thing trample. All right, so we're gonna have one more match after this one. Nine twenty-three right now. Let's go until ten. Let's 
play one. Let's play one more after this. I am. Gosh, that's a good attack. I I really want to trade with the Vanguard because the Vanguard triggers the other cards, but I just can't. I wish I would have just traded. I'm dead though. So next game. Alright, I'm gonna do the not playing all four growth chamber guardians thing and take out a growth chamber guardian for a plague mare. We don't need all four anyway. True. Pride maids. That was a really good draw. Give us that extra mana. Close your eyes and listen to the sounds of the wild. Big Lana This will be fun to watch. That all's been working out. I got punished for not putting the two counters on the land war elf. Oh, I guess I can still I can play this thing. And I did not tap that very well. Should have tapped the land war elf to, to cast that so I could play the knight of the Evan Legion. I mean, I don't really want to get rid of the Vivian, but I guess I need to, because otherwise they get to activate. Get them, jumpers. All right, and this is our deck: Golgari, Stompy, Stompin'. In a place I pride to grow stronger. Yeah, really, really should be waiting on the Soul Mender activations. There isn't a reason to activate there. is lethal either way, you know, they block. 
So there we go. GG's there, love. I had all the removal there that game three, and all the removal forever for all the stuff. Vivian Arcbo Ranger, so good. Oh, I don't, I don't know Thompsons. All right, uh, who wants to be likely our last person? Unless it's really quick. So if you're a subscriber, you want to battle. Last chance. Match number 30. It's a good even round even number. Hopefully team chat can pick this up, make it 20 to 10. Okay. Looks like everybody's in there. Sorry, team, got to redo it. Ah, for subscribers only, for the who we're playing against. All right, we're playing against Chris. Sorry, y'all. And of course, I want y'all being in here and cheering on chat and everything and hanging out and watching the stream. But I'm just playing against subscribers. Yep, sorry, Dons. All right, Chris. Good luck. Let's see what the deck is. We already played Grixis Reanimator. You have no sideboard? Okay, well, then I just I won't sideboard then. We already played Golgari Citadel. So whatever deck I'm playing, I just won't sideboard. We already played Esper Colorless. Sorry, this got reset just like late into the stream, so we're gonna have to redo this. Oh, Grixis Blood Sun. All right, well this is a, let's do a different deck. This is like a, just a, a deck that's really only built to beat. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't know, y'all think we should do a different deck? Like this is just a, like an anti-Field of the Dead deck. Y'all want this for the last deck, or should we respin? Different? Okay. All right, yeah, y'all are saying different. All right, Mardu Metal. There we go. That's a cool deck. This is a cool deck here. Mardu Metal. Yeah, this Mardu Metal is a quick deck, so we may get another deck. So, yeah, if y'all... If for those... Those of y'all that didn't get there, because Mardu Metal is a fast deck. We may have time for another. Especially like no sideboard. We're kind of doing three best of ones. All right, this is our aggro deck here. We're path of metaling it up. So still choose best of three, Chris. All right, love. Take care. All right, so copy paste it in there. Also just change, change it to best of three. You don't need to change the other options. Just change it from best of one to best of three. Does everything look good here on, on the screen for you, Chris? Like, do I have everything correct? Because if you hit submit, it should be coming up unless unless we have some lettering off somewhere. Either you typed in something a little bit wrong here or I typed in something wrong there. All right, it came up. We're good. All right, good luck, Chris.
All right, Dubs Path Metal. We'll rock it. We need to draw a creature. We need one more creature. Path of Metal requires you to attack with two creatures with First Strike, Double Strike, Vigilance, and or Haste. So basically, if we don't draw another creature, we're not doing any... Like, these Path of Metals don't do anything at all. Unless we draw another creature. Ooh. Jund graveyard stuff. All right, we're not drawing this creature. 0 for 2 so far. Went land, land. for three on our draw steps. Still no creature. Preferably a creature with haste. Maybe I need to be more specific and then they'll just give me a different creature. Well darn, now we need to draw two creatures. I guess they could... Yeah, they're blood for bones in. Alright, it's like 0 for 6, I think. I don't know. Some, something like that. 5. We've drawn 5 cards. 0 for 5. So Chris already has triple black. Don't need to worry about trying to kill this Paradise Druid. Keep them from casting Cavalier Knight. Obviously the Paradise Druid has Hexproof also, so it's hard to do. But then finally Paradise Druid also has two CMC, same as Path of Metal, if Blast Zone tries to destroy Path of Metal. Alright, so when I kept our hand, I said we need to draw one creature. Alright, finally. We were 0 for 6. We finally got one. Draw number 7. Night of Grace has that sweet hexproof from black. Alright, come on. Top deck haste creature. So I think we win this if we top deck a haste creature. If we can flip Path of Metal into Metzali. We need a haste creature though. Haste creature!
Attack. Okay. Now we need Matsali to keep on destroying creatures that attack. It's a slow process. I don't know if we'll be able to stabilize, if we'll die before we can kill everything. Especially with... Um, Cavalier Knight getting back some other 3-drop. Are there any 3-drop? There's like Glow Spore Shaman and Paradise Druid. These things cost... Oh, those things do cost 3. Never mind. I was thinking that thing cost 4. And Chris should just be attacking out with everything. Yeah, three mana Chandra is very good with, with metal. Chris needs to be attacking with everything, not just one creature. One creature just kills it. I think I attack with. I don't think I play Butcher. They're down to 25 cards. I have some three mana Chandra's in the sideboard. I didn't. I just didn't have them in the main deck because I just don't do anything with like the minus two. So if Paradise Druid blocked, then I would be doing the extra one damage, the Gorging, Vulture, and then Firebranding, killing the Vulture. Chris is kind of just in the hard lock, though. I don't know how they're... I don't know how Chris is going to just deal with Metzali. Just keeps killing all these creatures that try to attack. For those of you that don't know the card, they're asking about it. There you go. Do I have enough mana to cast this and activate Metsali? Yes, I do. Y'all ready for a cool play? 
Y'all ready for a cool play? Ever seen water burn? So usually Angrath doesn't kill big creatures, right? A fair price. So we're going to just just attack with Cavalier Knight. Do the four. Choose a creature at random that attacked this turn. Destroy it. All right, so there's one creature that attacked. Destroy that. All right, uh, get something back. We'll get back the Dreadhorde Butcher. That's pretty cool. Angrath Metzali combo. We can also Metzali kill our, our Dread Horde Butchers if they're bigger, if like if that would kill them. No fire, no steel. And suddenly we have everything. We just finally flipped that path of metal. It was looking so bad for us, but we finally flipped it. And then it was over. And then Chris wasn't too aggressive, just attacked with just the Cavalier Knight that other turn. Uh, I guess not over. Kind of forgot about that card. Oh, no, I mean, it's over. They can't attack. I, I would have to just... Chump block with Aurelia. I don't think I would kill it with Metzali. I mean, I don't know how many lands are in Chris's graveyard, but probably a lot. No fire, no steel. Hmm. Oh, I, I honestly forgot about that trigger. I'll have you in chains next I was time. just talking about that trigger. I forgot about it. What if, what if there was 12 lands over here and I just would have died to that? Oh, that would have been bad. Oh, could have been bad. If I would have gone upstairs with the three damage, we would have had a 50-50 shot of killing... Chris with Metzali because we could have activated Metzali and either sac either destroy Butcher or Aurelia. If it destroyed Butcher, that's four, and then the Firebrand does the other one. If it's Aurelia, you know, or it just kills Aurelia, and then we look kind of silly for doing that. Yeah. All right, so no sideboarding. I said Chris said they don't that he doesn't have a sideboard. No sideboarding. Hey, Plague Vendor. Well. There's the Paradise Druid. Yep, we're playing Mardu Metal. This hand was kind of slow on the draw. Maybe we shouldn't have kept it. Oh, it got better. Got better. Let's make some treasures. A 
course, Soren can bring back Lannery Storm and stay around also. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's bring back Lannery Storm, get some more treasures. I have come for vengeance and blood. Possibly be able to go like Tajik plus Aurelia next turn. Embrace the bloodlust. Um, I'm not sure what Macabre Mockery does. But maybe it could do a fancy combo with Butcher. I mean, if it's just about, like, sacrificing. I'm not... I just don't know what Macabre Mo Mockery does as a card. Discard the hand. They're all gone. Send them away. Don't need any of those. Ship them all. Ah, uh, just two. Not you. You. Oh yeah, poor cast down. She was like, these are all legendary. So I probably should have just sacked that other treasure to do an, another point of damage. We probably don't need that extra mana from that thing. I guess it could help out. I think it could help out with like Tajik first strike. All right, I think we figured it out. So yeah, we get get all these Judith triggers. So we're doing this. So the darkness Cavalier. Yes, yeah, so like this is perfect. So Chris has no no blocks here that save that save him. So we get to attack with both. If he blocks Captain Lannery Storm. We're giving, we have the mana to give Tajik first strike now. So if he blocks Captain Lannery Storm, first strike damage kills him with Tajik before this damage happens.
But then, so like, you know, this block, Chris is dead. If Chris blocks Tajik, though, to prevent that, then Tajik first strike kills the Cavalier. And so it doesn't do damage, and then the Lannery Storm kills him. So that's why I had to put, like, the one the one point of, of damage on the Cavalier and then all the other damage to him to make it so that was exactly lethal. Like, we had just, like, the exact right number of points and everything there. That was, that was like, really cool. That was a really cool line. That was a, that was a cool game that we had there. That was, like, absolutely perfect. GG's. Yeah, that was a... Yeah, after 12 hours. Still have it sometimes. That was a really cool lethal line. Like, that was, like, the only line that was lethal, too. That was Mardu Metal. That was Mardu Metal. We played that deck yesterday, too. So, yeah, if you if you like that, that deck, you want to see more of it, uh, on the YouTube channel from yesterday, check out Mardu Metal. Had a good league with it also there. But Chris, good games there. GG's. All right, but thanks for watching tonight, everybody. That's going to conclude the uh, sub battle stream. Speaking of YouTube, if you're watching over there, hope you hit the like and subscribe buttons. Hope you hit the like buttons on all the videos. Hope you checked out all those sub battle videos. We had a lot of good ones, a lot of fun decks. Um, chat was bringing a bunch of really cool decks as well. Lots of really interesting decks from chat. Didn't see... You know, like the the same old, you know, we didn't see like Model Red and Esper Control and you know, like the same old decks from everywhere there. But there we go. So that's that's our sub battle day. So again, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.